Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well, and today we talk about Hollywood ball earnings, and yeah, they were pretty good. Like yesterday on the in-mode video at the start, I kind of mentioned about Hollywood ball earnings, and I was like, they could be pretty bad, but they're actually okay. Um, so we take a look at that, I mean, I was really negative about it, and uh, they actually turned out not bad at all, really. So uh, like I said, I'll be talking about the Hollywood ball earnings. Uh, in general, like, we're starting to see a little bit more red day starting to creep in. I mean, Boohoo is the one that is getting very interesting to me right now. Um, so I've, I've not actually kind of bought too much just yet. I am kind of like waiting to see what happens with a few more earnings, if there's a few more opportunities in general. But yeah, but Hollywood Ball in ge was not too bad earnings and with the market in general, I'm just kind of like trying to be a bit patient, see what happens with earnings over the next two weeks and then I might go in. But um, with Hollywood Ball reporting these earnings, it does make me uh, even more confident to buy more shares in them. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look and I'll kind of give my opinion on what came out with Hollywood Ball. So we did get the trading statement from Hollywood Ball for the year end, uh, 30th of September. Like I so said, we'll, we'll probably get a few, a bit more detail later on in the year about everything in general about this financial year. But um, we kind of got a bit of an insight into what happened here. So I'll try to pick out the, the highlights here of what came out. So we got the uh, the first five months of financial year 20 uh, with revenue up 12.5%. We kind of knew about this uh, from the last report and like for like revenue up 9.4%, which was all good. We kind of knew it though. Um, five month temporary closure of entire state from March due to government mandate measures around COVID-19 resulting in financial 20 revenues of 79.5 million. Um, so yeah, we kind of um, understood like, you know, that it, it was closed for such, such a long time. Majority of estate safely reopened in mid-August with initial trading exceeding expectations and cash positive months in August and September. So this was very, very big news for me. So when I look into this cash positive in August and September, I don't know how they managed to do it. I think the only thing that I were a little bit disappointed with this earnings report is that they didn't go into as much detail as what I would have liked. I know we'll probably get it at some point, but I kind of wanted a little bit more detail uh, than this, than what they gave. Uh, but yeah, the cash positive in August was stand out because obviously they opened up in mid-August. So it pretty much said that straight from the open, Hollywood Bowl in COVID can make profit you know, it's instantly profitable, which was great management. So it must it must be managing the expenses really well. And like I say, for half a, half a month in August to still be cash positive, and then September to be cash positive, fantastic. I didn't really expect that to happen. And like I say, I'd like a bit more detail on how they're managing everything with like, uh, are there certain venues where they have to have lanes like a gap closed between every lane or if every lane can be open uh, arcade the bar and everything i'd like to know a little bit more information um about this but um very good very good to know cash positive in august and september i really did not see that coming so that was great three new put star centers and one new hollywood ball center successfully opened in the period um so we kind of knew about they were trying to build this um and we know they're trying to get bigger on the the put stars um so that's great uh, trading estate reopened at 68 percent of prior year revenue so we can see here that the revenue was down uh compared to what it was at so the great thing here is that we can see at 68% they could still make profit, which is fantastic. I thought it would need to be in the 70s to probably be somewhere around here. So this has beat my expectations. And you know, we compare it to somewhere like Greg's and theirs is somewhere around 80%. So to be reopening at 68% and making profit makes me really, really confident in this company compared to something like Greg's that, you know, needs to get to 80%. The fact that this is doing profit at 68%, uh, like you said, great. Uh, annual like like for set revenues up 0.6% and the group expects to report a marginal profit for the year despite the impact of pandemic. Once again, fantastic. Didn't expect it to be a profitable year. So that's great. Um, and we kind of got some numbers here about strong balance sheet with net debt at 8.9 million at the end of the year. Like I said, I'd like to see a bit more of a, a breakdown. I know we'll probably get it later on, but I'd love to see just like, you know, cash, what the cash is up to right now and everything like that. Um, so yeah, that would have been a bit better if we got a bit more detail on the financial side of it. But like I said, it's surprising how well they managed to do, you know, 68% revenue and pulling out profits. I was blown away by it. And the thing is, well, is like when we looked at the stock price, the stock really didn't move that much after it reported earnings. You, you know, the, the earnings came out about 7, 7 a.m. Um, and... Yeah, the, the stock just didn't really move. It was kind of flat all day. And literally, I've just gone on to check right now, and the stock has actually just dropped off 5% after their earnings, 
which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I, I I mean, to be honest with you, I think the earnings overall were about eight, eight out of ten. Um, a bit more detail would have been good, but I think I was I was kind of hoping for a profit, but realistically, I didn't think we were going to get it, but we did, which was fantastic. Expected a loss for the year, um, which we haven't got, which is great. So overall, yeah, I'd get, give these earnings eight out of 10. The only way they could have got a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 is just if they could just give me a bit more detail about the financial side, but everything else was really good. And when you consider how well these earnings were and now there's a 5% drop on the stock, crazy, crazy. So overall, they're really good earnings from Hollywood Bowl. I'm really happy and I'm very confident in the company. Um, I'm more happy than when I saw Greg's earnings. Like I said, there could be in a bit more detail, but overall, probably better than Greg's earnings. So yeah, I'm a big fan of these earnings by Hollywood Ball, and it shows you if they can do these sort of numbers in a COVID situation, you know, we could see they were doing well pre-COVID. The two months prior to COVID, it were, it were good. Um, so it kind of, you know, asked the question, you know, when everything gets back to normal in a year's time, this company is going to be doing very well. So it leaves me in a position now as a shareholder with the confidence after them earnings to go, what shall I do? And it's a little bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm, at the moment, I'm, my, my portfolio goes Boohoo, and then it goes Greg's, and then it goes Hollywood Bomb, and then after that, I think it's uh, maybe Dark Group, and then uh, maybe a, a house builder, uh, maybe Taylor Wimpy. I'm not 100% sure about checking, but I know it goes Boohoo, uh, and then Greg's, and then Hollywood Bowl, and I'm looking now and I'm thinking, the, the, the actual share price has dropped 5% after them pretty good earnings that probably deserve the stock to grow up, go up five percent maybe with how much it's down maybe the stock should have gone up 10 15 percent because we didn't know that it was able to do that well in the covid situation you know that's why the stock's down because of all the uncertainty and we look and you think it's going to no doubt it's going to become a company that's fantastic after covid it's just the covid side of it and it's still doing okay in covid so i think it leaves a question now to me of like how far do i want to take this position and after the earnings i'm not going to lie i'm looking at it going this company could actually come my second biggest position in my UK portfolio, could actually come my first biggest position in my portfolio, you know, um, we'll see, obviously Boohoo, everything's kind of pulling back at the moment, especially Boohoo, and I'm thinking maybe I do add a, add a little bit into Boohoo now, average up a little bit, how cheap it goes after their earnings, because theirs was good, but, you know, compare it to Greg's, it's probably going to do better than Greg's, I might say, um, and it's, at the moment in COVID, it's doing better than Greg's, uh, even though I'm still a massive fan of, don't get me wrong, I'm still a massive fan of Greg's, you know, I'm not, I'm not slugging them off, but like potentially maybe the second biggest position, maybe go to first if it's this cheap still, we'll see, it's something for me to consider about, but right now for the earnings, I'm actually considering maybe a big extension into this position now to maybe the second or first biggest position, so it's something I'm going to keep up to, well, keep thinking about and see where the stock market goes after earnings as well. So if you do want to keep up to date with what I'm buying, what I'm selling as well, make sure you join my Patreons as well. There's a link in the description. I will be carrying on thinking about this as the weeks go on and when I assess if there's been some opportunities in earnings and how far the market pulls back in general with a few of these red days. But very strong earnings for Hollywood Ball. Very happy as a shareholder anyway. So hope you enjoyed that video anyway, guys. As always, you can smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next video.